Hello guys, I just want to say that I love you guys and uh, thank you so much for watching my videos and encouraging me and supporting me. It's been a real blessing and I pray that my videos will be a blessing to you and uh, to help you at least think. Uh, okay, so I'm going to talk some more about these end times passages and I think that the Lord's been showing me a lot and there's a lot that I want to show you. But I want to uh, say again, and I'll probably say this a lot, that Matthew, Mark, and Luke, as far as the end times passages and even Revelation, everything is not in order. And this is why people get things messed up severely, is because they're not paying attention to detail. I think that the Lord uh, points out pretty clearly uh, that the, uh, the way the order things should be if you just you know just study prayerfully and you just pay attention to detail. But anyway. Uh, I mean, I didn't notice this stuff a lot at first, too, though, so... Uh, but I want to talk about this parable of the fig tree. Uh, okay, a lot of times when people read parables, even myself, we try to make everything uh, that the Lord said mean something. Like, in the parable of the sower, you know, he tells us that the seed means this, and, you know, the bird means this, or whatever, he... he he explains that things have meaning, so we want to continue that with every parable, but I don't think that every parable is like that. A lot of them might be, but, uh, you know, of course I need to study this more, but I really am coming to a conclusion on this. Uh, I'm not sure everyone's opinion on this parable. I think that some people think that the fig tree represents Israel, and they say that when Israel uh, comes together as a nation that we know that the end times are close, and, uh... They think that that has already happened, and I think it's really questionable whether is uh, the nation that we know as Israel today is fulfilled prophecy. I mean, it could be, but uh, it's also very questionable. We can't really know, and I think a lot of people, you know, act like they know 100% sure that that's fulfilled prophecy. And I'll probably have another video on that. But anyway, uh, I don't think that that has anything to do with this. I don't think the fig tree really has to represent anything in this parable. That's not the point. Um, I do think that in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, uh, at least Matthew and Luke, they both talk about the rapture. And there's a lot of debate on that. Do they only talk about the second coming? I think they talk about both. Um, the rapture is imminent. It could happen at any time. The uh, Daniel's 70th week is imminent. It can happen at any time. The second coming is not imminent. Okay, It can be counted. Uh, so we have to remember that when we're looking at these passages. So I'm going to start reading this then. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, what is all these things? All these things is what he's been talking about in this whole Matthew 24 passage before this. Okay, he's talking about the whole Daniel 70th week. He's talking about the wars, the famines, the pestilence, the uh, abomination of desolation, the uh, the persecution, the star, the sun, the moon being darkened, and the stars falling from the sky, and all this stuff. Okay, uh, so that's what he's saying. When you see all these things, okay, uh, then you, uh, know that it is near, even at the doors. What is it? Okay, um, well, this parable is in Luke, and it helps explain a little bit more. So Luke twenty one, verse twenty nine. And he spake unto them a parable, Behold the fig tree and all the trees, when they no, now shoot forth, uh, you, you see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Okay, so what is the kingdom of God? Here he's talking about the thousand year reign of Christ on the earth. Okay, you will know that it is near. Okay. So this is a, a passage, too, that tells us that that we will know when the second coming is near, okay? People will try to say this is for the rapture or whatever. It's not, okay? That is imminent. So I believe that this parable is for those who are in the tribulation, okay? He's saying when you see the abomination of desolation, when you see the stars falling from the sky, you know that the thousand-year reign is near, okay? And the the fig tree and stuff is just an example. It's just saying, you know, when when it when it puts forth leaves, know that summer is nigh. Okay, you know, uh, you can tell things. You know, you can tell that summer is coming by the things that are happening. Okay, so you will know that the second coming is happening soon because of these things. Uh, 
It says, Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass uh, till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall, shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. What does he mean by this generation? I think he means by this generation um, the time uh, that Christ isn't reigning as king. So that's basically today, and it will continue through the seven-year tribulation until the thousand-year reign. That's all this generation. The generation without Christ reigning as king. Okay? So, the fig tree doesn't have to represent anything. It's just this idea that he's put saying, you know, you know, you can see, you can see, uh, uh, you know how to recognize things that, that tell when the seasons are changing and stuff. And by, by seeing all these things that I just spoke to you about, you will know that the end is near. Okay. Uh, so that's that. Thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.